We are so excited to introduce our next very special guest, the Congressman from Texas, Dr. Ron Paul. We want to thank Dr. Paul for coming to visit us at our private school at Boys and Girls Club in Manchester, New Hampshire. He came to see uh, what we were doing and our students got to ask him questions. It was a great time. We found Dr. Paul to be not only very, very intelligent, but we found him to be just uh, one of the nicest guys, just a very congenial gentleman. But you're also going to be interested to see what else we found out about uh, the congressman. He's got a bit of a competitive streak. So you better get ready because I honestly don't think you're going to beat him. He is very fast. You watch him when, when, he, when we get him started, he's ready to go because he's going to try to beat you. So get ready. Hey, welcome to another edition of Straight A Walking. We are privileged to go Straight A Walking today with Congressman Paul. Uh, welcome to uh, Straight A Walking, Congressman Paul. Yeah. Thank you for agreeing to uh, do this a little bit to help students learn how to take SAT questions. <laughs> so uh, we have a verbal question for the Congressman. We want to see how his vocabulary is. Uh, we're going to split the screen and the kids at home are going to kind of race you to see if they can answer it before you. Uh, are you ready, Congressman Paul? Are you ready to go? Okay, kids, it's, uh, the question is uh, the president. I'll let the congressman read it. Are you ready at home? Are you ready, Congressman Paul? Right. And the question is number three. On your mark, get set, go. The president is so dogmatic that he will never even consider another person's viewpoint to be valid if it is different from his own. That was tweezy. He was, he, his vocabulary is strong enough, he just looked down and he knew immediately that a dogmatic person is one who will never listen to someone else. So we're going to throw another real quick question at the congressman. That was, the kids at home didn't even have a chance. <laughs> wow, okay, well that's alright. You, you guys take a look and remember at home, any vocabulary you don't know, you're writing it down, you're looking it up. Okay, now we're going to throw a grammatical question to the congressman, see if he can catch this one. It's number 21, Congressman Paul. Are you ready at home? Go. Well, although we had expected poor services at the resort, we were more than satisfied at the attention we received throughout our stay. Um, probably should go better. Although we had expected poor services at the resort, we were more than satisfied with the attention we received throughout our stay. Something like that. Yes, it's correct. It should be satisfied with. It. And, uh, and the reason being, students, it's an idiom, and most of the idioms focus on prepositions like that. So again, Congressman Paul, thank you so much for going straight A walking. So how'd you guys do? How'd you do against our guests? How'd you do versus our special guests? I doubt that you were able to beat Congressman Paul on number one, were you? On the second item he did, I don't know, you had a chance, because he had to read through it, so that kind of gave you the slight advantage. But um, anyway, we hope you thoroughly enjoyed this episode of Straight A Walking. Remember, if you see us around town, if you see us uh, coming up with a clipboard and a calculator, don't freak out. We're just trying to help our kids get ready for those college entrance exams. And we appreciate your help. We'll see you next time. Take care.